The advanced installer JSON file support is used for configuring JSON files that are part of the installation package or that are already present on the target machine. In this video, we will use the JSON functionality to add and replace elements in the app setting JSON at install time. Let's dive in! For this feature, we will need to create an enterprise project. Go to Files and Folders and import a JSON file in the application folder. Double-click the JSON file to edit it. The JSON Edit dialog allows us to make various configurations to our file. We can create new JSON elements by right-clicking the New Context menu and rename them by choosing the Rename Context menu. For this demo, we will add an element set of boolean, number and the property base element. This will be created at install time because they do not exist in the JSON file. Now, let's update the DB connection config attributes. Those elements will be modified at install time. We will create a public property for each element value for getting the user input from a custom dialog. Go to the dialog page and create a new dialog to collect the user input. I already have one created. We can see that each input is associated with the property we created earlier for each JSON element. Save and build the project. Now, let's test the application. When we go to the app setting JSON file, we can notice that the JSON file has the values provided at the install time. For more guides and tutorials, check out the Advanced Installer YouTube channel and also the Advanced Installer blog.